this is a regular thing headphones on now watching um probably jake paul or love island she watches now turn down for what What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Friday, the final weekend before we go away to Spain. And I'm starting this vlog today at 7 o'clock in the evening. In fact, the vlog's just gone live and it's doing pretty well. It's only been up like, I think it's been up 15 minutes, already on nearly 100 views. So the channel is definitely growing. So we've decided today that we're going to start the vlog really late because we've had loads to do for the holiday, bits and pieces. So this is going to kind of be like an in and out vlog and so is tomorrow's and then obviously on Sunday when we change the channel art, the channel picture, guys, everything, again, guys. Watch. then we're going to start the holiday yeah. vlogs properly. So you'll get the first holiday vlog on Monday and then it'll continue there on after. And we're hopefully going to be going live as well from Manchester Airport in Terminal 1. So fingers crossed we'll get a good reception in there because we're using 4G and we'll be able to do it. So Vanellope at the minute is doing roller polies on the floor. I can't show you because she's got a dress on and she's decided to take her knickknacks off because she had an accident in before. Those of you that are following the channel know that she's got uh, really bad bowel issues where she squeezes it, she crosses her legs like this, holds it in, holds it in, holds it in. Then when it eventually comes out, it's like the size of a hand grenade and it kills her. So she's on mobile call for that at the minute. Um, sometimes she has good days, sometimes she has bad days. Today is one of them bad days where she just can't get it out. We had the brand new Dyson delivered today. It's amazing, it's fantastic. It's like an updated version of the one that we bought two years ago. So um, Sarah's pleased with that. I had a look at it before, it's, it's fantastic. Whenever you get a brand new Dyson and you hoover like your carpets for the first time, you're disgusted by how much crap that they actually pick up. And we think the carpets are pretty clean in this house. No. They're pretty bad. And then we also had Gary, the gas man, come round today and he basically changed the whole flue in the house and then he did a gas safety check. So we're all up to date on that, which is nice before going on holiday. The printers are currently getting cleaned. They're going to be going into shutdown mode now for about, well, for 17 days. They need a well-earned rest. They've literally gone non-stop. I got the, the bulk of everything out today. I've got one more item to send in the morning. Then it's done. It's plain sailing after that. So we'll check in with Sarah later on. We'll check in with the boys. I've got to drop Liam and Mason off at the dad's. Imogen's staying at her friend's Emily's because she's not going to see her for 17 days. So she's back tomorrow morning. The boys are back tomorrow afternoon because I'm going to go and take them to get their hair cut with me, Oscar and Alpha. That should be fun. That'll take about two hours to get all our hairs cut because the barbers that we go to, he takes an age to cut your hair. He's like a perfectionist, but I suppose it's good at the end of the day. Um, everybody's going to be back here tomorrow. Chloe's out tonight, so I'm dropping Liam, Mason, and Chloe off later on, and then back home. Sarah's got a craving at the minute for timeouts and blue ribbons. These cravings are just ridiculous. Oh, and Iron Brew. She's got on to Iron Brew now. So all the transfers are sorted, the hotel's sorted, the flights are changed for Daz. So Daz is coming over on the 6th of July, which is in about a week and a half. So he'll be coming over then for the last um, five or six days. Unfortunately, Naomi's not coming because she can't get the time off work, but it's still going to be great to catch up with Daz because when we come home, we're starting up the 3D printing business together, so we'll be able to brainstorm while he's over there with us, which will be um, fantastic. So yeah, the vlog's starting late, but I've always been asked that question, do you have to vlog from the beginning of the day right the way through to the day in order to produce a good vlog? My answer is no. We're starting this vlog at seven o'clock in the evening. Well, now it's about half past seven. So we think it's relatively easy. Obviously people like to see the beginning, the middle and the end, but we can still squeeze in everything in this vlog. All right guys, so I'm just about to take Liam, Mason and Chloe to the dad's. Chloe's going out tonight with her friend. So she's gonna go to her dad's and then get a taxi from her dad's to meet a friend in Ashton city center. I told you today's vlog was going to be a stressful one. I told you it was going to be a quick one. So I'm going to get these three over to the dads. Then when I get back, I'm going to check in with you. All right, just got back now from taking Liam, Mason and Chloe to the dads. Everything's going on at the minute. It's It seems like all the boyfriends that the girls have had are now non-existent, which isn't really a bad thing. I mean, Adam, who's 
who was seeing Chelsea. Apparently, we found out tonight that he was cheating on her. They split up. Diogo and Imogen have split up which isn't a bad thing because he treated her like dirt, he really did. He was uh, so disrespectful for her. See, we have this rule. Um, some people might find this rule really odd, but I don't. Um, Imogen lives here in Mosley, and Diogo lives about eight miles away. So she used to travel to his house all the time, and we said, we've had this rule with, the, with all three of the girls, the older girls, if he's committed to you, and if he wants to be with you, he'll get the bus from there up here. He never did. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why they're probably not together, because he can't be bothered. So, um, she's she's better off anyway, because she's, um, she's a lovely girl, and she doesn't deserve to be spoken to or treated like that. Anyway, Chloe with Reese. That's a complicated one. Reese has moved on now, apparently, which is hilarious. Um, between me and you... If it isn't already obvious or it wasn't obvious on the vlogs, I didn't really like him anyway. He was, um, he, well, he, he, he's another one. He treated her like absolute dirt. Um, I can't work out Adam and Chelsea. They're always on and off. But if he's cheated on her with somebody, that's kind of unforgivable in my eyes. So maybe it'll wake Chelsea up a little bit more. Um, to be honest, we haven't fell out with Chelsea for quite a while now. So... You know, fingers crossed, things are on the up. So, I just dropped the three of them at the dads. Obviously, Liam and Mason are coming back tomorrow because we're not going to let them stay there till Sunday because when Liam comes back from his dads, he is an absolute nightmare to get into a routine. So, we decided if we bring him back tomorrow with Mason, he's in a routine then for Sunday when we travel because on Sunday, it is going to be one hell of a day because we've literally got to get up, get everything ready, the party bus-like minibus thing that's coming, um... We'll be here around 3 o'clock, half past 3, to the airport, check the bags in, get to the departure gate, get something to eat. Then we're on the, f the flight at quarter past 7, 5 past 7, sorry. It's supposed to land at 5 past 11. I don't think it's going to land at 5 past 11. I think it'll land about half 10. But by the time we've got out there, then we've got to get on the transfers, which is a private minibus that we've hired, to the hotel. We've now had to get Heide, who owns the, uh, the villa, in Spain to ring them and say, because check-ins from 10 o'clock in the morning till 11 o'clock at night, well, we're not going to get there till 1 in the morning, so Heidi had to ring up and say, look, they're coming, but they're not going to be there till like 1 o'clock in the morning, so that's all covered, that's fine. Then we've got to get them to sleep, then we've got to be up and out of the hotel by 11 o'clock in the morning, then we've got to wait around for a bit, then we've got to get a another transfer, but it's only like five minutes up the road, if that, from there but when you're traveling with like seven kids and everybody's got a bag it adds up gotta go from there to imperial park get the keys get settled in and then get them in the pool so i'm gonna be genuinely honest with you i am not looking forward to that at all it's um it's not good so i'm gonna nip in now check in with um porsche and sarah my two princesses that are home at the minute and then, well, the other princess is asleep, Vanellope. And we don't know if it's a princess or it's a prince inside Sarah. So um, I'll tell you something in a minute, actually, about the um, about what we did last time when we went to Spain. You'll like it, and um, and you'll you'll want me to do it this time when we go um, back to Spain. So I'm going to go and check in with them now. All right. So as I just said in the car, I'm going to check in with Sarah and Portia. But I also said as well that I was going to tell you something that I did last time when we went to Lanzarote when Sarah was. Carrying Vanellope. So what I did was I went to a chemist's and for some reason they had these really nice dummies There was a blue dummy. There was a pink dummy. We didn't know if Vanellope was going to be a boy or a girl did we? And something drew me to the pink dummy. When we go back to Spain again on Sunday I am going to do that again in one of the chem chemists over there. I'll go in and I'll see which one I pick and we'll see if the guess is right I'll go in and, and I'll pick one of them and we'll see if it's right if it's it's the right one that we pick. So I've just come back from Lee's, dropped the kids off, kids off, as you just said. And I had to call in to Asda because she's got a craving at the minute for timeouts and blue ribbons. Although, not blue ribbons because they do not taste the same anymore. If anybody has tasted blue ribbons, <laughs> blue ribbons and agrees with me, leave a comment below. They are absolutely hanging. So, how's the timeout craving going? Why are you even filming me with no makeup on? Because everybody loves you anyway, whether you got makeup no, on or not. No, I haven't even got dressed today. Sorry that I haven't vlogged today. But I've, no just, I've told him we've been running around like lunatics today. Oh, do you like the new Dyson? Here it is. Oh yeah, I've used the new Hoover. 
can't be eating new hoover. When the actual man came, the Royal Mail, I said, you're my new best mate, bring me a new hoover. I said, you don't even know how happy I am to see that hoover. This is a regular thing, headphones on now, watching um, probably Jake Paul or Love Island she watches now with this um, cringer here, Max, and then we're gonna get we're gonna get a bath, aren't we? And then we're gonna chill out in bed. Yeah. Just doing some research. So as I just said, I'm gonna go and run a bath now, and then I'm gonna end the vlog. It has been a short one today, but we are absolutely full on stressed out today. But we had to get something up, and um, our something's normally better than most. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog really quickly now. My hair is horrendous. It's only gonna be like this again now for this vlog. And I can't believe we're, we're literally like a day away now from us going on holiday. So for the penultimate time before we go on holiday, I'm gonna say do not forget to smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell. It does nothing. And we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.